Aphorism 6 of Organon of Medicine Simplified by Dr. Rohit Deshpande Aphorism 6, the unprejudiced observer, well aware of the futility of transcendental speculations which can receive no confirmation from experience, be his powers of penetration ever so great, takes note of nothing in every individual disease, except the changes in the health of the body and of the mind, morbid phenomena, accidents, symptoms, which can be perceived externally by means of the senses, that is to say, he notices only the deviations from the former healthy state of the now. Diseased individual, which are felt by the patient himself, remarked by those around him and observed by the physician. All these perceptible signs represent the disease in its whole extent, that is, together they form the true and only conceivable portrait of the disease. Footnote, I know not, therefore, how it was possible for physicians at the sickbed to allow themselves to suppose that, without most carefully attending to the symptoms and being guided by them in the treatment, they ought to seek and could discover, only in the hidden and unknown interior, what there was to be cured in the disease, arrogantly and ludicrously pretending that they could without paying much attention to the symptoms, discover the alteration that had occurred in the invisible interior and set it to rights with unknown medicines and that such a procedure as this could alone be called radical and rational treatment. Is not, then, that which is cognizable by the senses in diseases through the phenomena it displays, the disease itself in the eyes of the physician, since he never can see the spiritual being that produces the disease, the vital force. Nor is it necessary that he should see it, but only that he should ascertain its morbid actions, in order that he may thereby be enabled to cure the disease. What else will the old school search for in the hidden interior of the organism, as a prima causa morbi, whilst they reject as an object of cure and contemptuously despise the sensible and manifest representation of the disease, the symptoms, that so plainly address themselves to us. What else do they wish to cure in disease but these? Explanation by Dr. Rohit Deshpande Dr. Hanuman stresses the significance of observing and noting the symptoms of a disease that can be felt externally through the senses, such as changes in the body and mind, rather than relying on conjectural and improbable theories about the underlying cause of the disease, in this aphorism. Insofar as they encompass all of the pathological changes taking place in the individual, he contends that the symptoms themselves are the sickness. Dr. Hanuman complains about the prevalent medical approach of the day, which he believes is unduly preoccupied with trying to pinpoint the hidden causes of illness while ignoring the apparent symptoms that are actually the most crucial indicators of a good course of therapy. He contends that such a strategy is flawed and frequently results in damaging or useless treatments. Dr. Hanuman believed that in order to treat a disease, a doctor did not need to be skeptical of its key causes. Instead, the doctor should concentrate on diagnosing and managing the patient's particular symptoms. By doing this, the doctor can attempt to improve the patient's health and vitality as opposed to only treating their symptoms with drugs that might have negative side effects. Dr. Hanuman is essentially arguing for a more empirical and practical approach to medicine, one that is based on close observation and attention to the unique requirements of each patient. The doctor can treat patients more skillfully and kindly if they concentrate on the disease's symptoms as opposed to speculative hypotheses regarding its origins. Thank you for watching this video. For more informative content, please like, share, and subscribe to Dr. Rohit Deshpande's YouTube channel.